Hello everyone. So in today's video, we will be learning about mucosal protective agent. So what are these agent and what they do? So actually, as its name indicate, mucosal protective agent. So we know mucosa is the innermost layer of the stomach. If this is the stomach, you know the innermost layer, the layer surrounding the lumen is called as mucosa. What these agents do is that they protect ulcers which are being formed in the mucosal lining of stomach so that they could heal themselves. These sores or ulcerations are actually formed because of the excess of the acidity or because of the excess secretion of HCL in the stomach which cause the activation of an enzyme called as pepsin. So pepsin is a proteolytic enzyme which is required for the digestion of protein present in the food. So when there is excess secretion of ACL what happen is that it causes the increased activation of pepsin and increased pepsin is also not very good because our stomach lining also has some protein in it. So what happen is that it not only cause the digestion of food but it also start digesting wall of the stomach. In this way there is formation of ulcers or sore in the stomach lining which is also called as mucosal lining or mucosa of the stomach. So why these agents are being called as mucosal protective agent is that because they protect the mucosa lining of the stomach. In this way they are not only called as mucosal protective agent but they are also called as cytoprotective agent because they are protecting the cells of the innermost layer of the stomach which is mucosa. So in this class we have drug like sucralfate and this drug is actually a complex of two compounds that is aluminium hydroxide and sulfated sugar sucrose so it is complex of these two so now one thing to be remember is that mucosa mucosa has proteins which are positively charged whereas this is actually negatively charged so you know what will happen now when there is presence of opposite charge what they do is they attract each other in this way what will happen is that this drug will bind to mucosa because it is having positively charged proteins whereas this drug has negative charge not only the damage or necrotic mucosa but also the normal one has positively charged protein in this way what will happen that this complex will form gel with epithelial cells of mucosa so in this way when there is a uh, formation of layer of a gel what will happen you know like this it will form layer around the mucosal layer of the stomach so now what will happen now there is presence of a physical barrier and what is meant by physical barrier that there is something between these two things and what are these two things that is and if this is the acid and pepsin so here this will be the mucosa and in between this thing hand is actually gel formation <coughs> which occur because of the presence of sucralfate so now there is a physical barrier between these two things so what will happen in this way it will protect the ulcer from pepsin and acid it allows the ulcer to heal because now 
एसिड और पेप्सिन इज नॉट डायरेक्टली इन कॉन्टेक्ट विद म्यूकोजल लेयर सो वट विल हैपन इट विल नॉट अलाउ द डाइजेशन ऑफ म्यूकोजल लेयर बाय द एसिड और पेप्सिन सो वी कैन से दैट दिस एजेंट कैन बी यूज फॉर द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ ड्यूरिनल अल्सर ट्रीटमेंट एंड स्ट्रेस अल्सर्स विच आर कॉज बाय टेकिंग एक्सेस ऑफ स्ट्रेस सो देट्स वाई यू शुड नॉट बी टेकिंग एन स्टेंट यू शुड टेक योर लाइफ एज इजी एट यू कैन बिकॉज यू कैन नॉट मेक एनी थिंग बेटर बाय टेकिंग स्ट्रेस एंड स्ट्रेस इज द मेन फैक्टर दैट कैन इनिशिएट थाउजेंड्स ऑफ डिजीजेस सो एंड फॉर द प्रिवेंशन ऑफ स्ट्रेस अल्सर्स एंड ड्यूटिनल अल्सर्स आर दो अल्सर्स विच आर प्रेजेंट इन द ड्यूटिनल पार्ट ऑफ द स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन विच इज इनिशिएट एग्जैक्टली आफ्टर द स्टमक बट इट इज नॉट यूज फॉर द ट्रीटमेंट और प्रिवेंशन ऑफ एन एस एड अल्सर एंड इट इज नॉट यूज टू ट्रीट गैस्ट्रिक अल्सर इन दैट केस इट इज नॉट इफेक्टिव सो इट इज ऑनली यूज इन दीज टू कंडीशन अदर दैन दैट इट हैज़ वेरी लिमिटेड यूज बिकॉज ऑफ द मल्टीपल डेली डोज विच मीन यू हैव टू टेक इट मल्टीपल टाइम्स इन अ डे अदर दैन दिस इट ऑल्सो हैज़ ड्रग ड्रग इंटरक्शन विच ऑल्सो लिमिट इट्स यूज as it has drug drug interaction so it can affect or it can interfere in the absorption of other drugs so that's why it is not that much recommended another thing to be remember is that uh, this agent is only effective in acidic condition and why it is so and as it is only effective in acidic condition we should not be taking it along with ppis ace2 antagonist or antacid because all of these agent ppis ace2 antagonist and antacids are actually for decreasing the acidic concentration in stomach and in this way what will happen that it will not uh, be effective as much as it is in acidic condition so one should uh, remember that while taking these agent there should be no intake of ppis is to antagonist or antacid along with this agent that is sucral fate so this was all about sucral fate if you have any question related to the topic let me know in the comment section below and thank you for watching my videos